everyone, my name is Sally and I am one of the music leaders for the Urban Vocal Group. I'm also a singing and voice teacher and I specialise in contemporary and commercial technique and in vocal health. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about how water can make the difference between whether your voice can sing well or whether it's going to struggle. Now today I have had a very very long day of teaching and so my voice is feeling a little bit croaky and I'm feeling very very dehydrated within my voice. So what I'm going to go do after this video is go and drink lots of water and try and recoup my voice um, in the way that I, I know that it will work really really well for me. So. I want you to start thinking about your voice as um, being two strips of muscle that just rub against each other. Now, if you was going to rub your hands together like this, after a while, what you'll start to feel is there's going to be a little bit of friction build up and a little bit of heat build up. And you're going to start to feel that that gets really, really warm and it gets a little bit uncomfortable after a while. Now, your vocal folds are exactly the same. Now, if you was going to go and put your hands underwater and do exactly the same thing, what you'll find is that they'll slip over each other much easier and it will take a longer time for that heat to build up. So if you put that into the same way of thinking about your voice, the more hydrated your voice is, the less friction there is likely to be as you're singing through your songs. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a sign of dehydration. Did you know you need to clear your throat quite a lot after singing? So please, please look out for some of the warning signs. Now, um, your voice, like I said, strips of strips of muscle and there's a little gooey layer that lies over the top and it's made out of the same things as your uh, that's in your eye so it's called a mucosal membrane and in order to work properly that needs to vibrate and it needs to move and it needs to wiggle about in order to help make sound now if your vocal folds are dehydrated that's going to get a little bit stiffer and it's going to get much much harder to get that sound out it's why a lot of people actually suffer with um pitchiness or with croakiness or with limits to their range completely when they are dehydrated. So please bear that in mind and have a little think about on days when you're waking up and your voice just doesn't feel great, you know, and you're just like, oh, today I can't sing. Go and drink some water and see if that makes a difference because I'm, I'm thinking it probably will because I know it makes a difference to me and a lot of my students. So just look at my little notes here, just making sure I'm covering everything that I want to cover. So um, now, one of the big things I want you to bear in mind is that your body will need different le uh, levels of water compared to your friend or compared to your family because it's all dependent on your body and what you go through every single day and what you are drinking as well. So if you are someone who normally drinks a lot of water but you also drink a lot of um, caffeinated products, the so things like um, maybe Pepsi or Coke or maybe um, tea or coffee, they're actually known as diuretics and what they do is they actually help you to flood um, water out of your system. So what you need to be very, very careful of is you may be drinking plenty of water and then completely undoing everything, all the goodness that you're doing by drinking a diuretic. OK, so be really careful with that. And if you are at the moment only drinking diuretics, then you probably would just really benefit from just a tiny cup of water every day. Just a little bit more just to start to get more water into your system. OK, now. What I want you to bear in mind is that your vocal folds, they're only the size of your little finger now, okay? And when you sing or when you speak, they're taking such a force and they're coming from your, from your lungs, from your tummy, from all these muscles here, they're taking a lot of pressure. And in fact, they, they say that your vocal folds, when you cough, are taking the pressure of up to 600 miles per hour. So that is the same, well, it's more, much, much more. If you think about being on a motorway and it's only 70 miles an hour, so that is so much more than even just how fast a car can go, okay? So, when we are singing, and we're trying to hydrate for our singing, so say you're gonna be, you're gonna be due to sing on Saturday, Really, you need to actually be starting to think about how much water you're taking on from Wednesday, so from today, because it takes anywhere from 20 minutes to 24 hours to hydrate your voice, because whatever you eat or drink never touches your vocal folds, okay? So you've got, you've got your windpipe and you've got your food pipe, and when you eat or drink, everything goes down the food pipe, and when you breathe in, everything goes down your windpipe. Now, underneath your windpipe, in, in your windpipe, sorry, is your vocal folds. So when you are eating, you've got a little flap 
called your epiglottis it goes down and protects your airway okay now if you you know when you kind of eat and things go down the wrong way that little flap's not got down in time so whatever you eat or drink's only going to be making your mouth nice and hydrated and moist it's not going to be affecting your actual vocal folds directly we need that to go through our body and then come back up into our vocal folds so don't think that as you're singing if that's the first bit of water you're having today that that's going to make you up for not drinking yesterday or not, not drinking before okay now how much should you be drinking? Now, there's a lot of people that say that you should always be drinking two to three liters of water, regardless, every single day. Some people say that you should be drinking depending on your weight. So if you are, um, say, uh, uh, a, typical, a typical tall man, you will be needing much, much water than a little, little girl, okay? So think about it that way. There is actually an equation, and um, right, you're gonna have to bear with me for this, okay? so. You take your weight in pounds, okay? And then once you get your weight in pounds, you halve that. So say you're 150 pounds and you halve that and you are, and then you've got 75 pounds. That's how many ounces of water that you should be drinking. Now, if you're anything like me and I don't deal with ounces, I deal with mill, uh, milliliters and um, with liters. I then go into Google and I'll put that into um into um just like a you know like the converters and see what however many ounces how much is that in milliliters so it's so like i said 150 um 150 pounds in weight would be 75 um uh ounces and then you start to work that out in how much how many milliliters that you should be drinking okay that was a lot more tricky some people say not to even worry about any of that and that you should actually be looking at the color of your wee now, I always go into something a bit weird. This is my weird thing for the day. You should be checking the colour of your urine when you are going to the toilet. If you have a look and it looks really, really yellow or it's like an orangey colour, that is a sign that you're dehydrated and that you would benefit from drinking a little bit more water. If you look in the toilet and it's quite clear, then you should probably think that, yeah, you probably are drinking enough water. Now, if you are severely dehydrated, it can take up to two weeks of drinking the appropriate amount of water for your body every single day for two weeks without fail, just to bring your body back to where it needs to be. And we know that there are so many different health factors that are so important with um, drinking water that are reliant on you drinking water. So. That's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today and give you some indication of how much water you should be drinking. Um, what I do want you to be careful of though is how quickly you start to add more water to your, um, to your daily routine. If right now you're only drinking like a cup of water a day or you're um, only drinking like one bottle, one 500 ml bottle, um, please don't go in and jump to say if you need to drink two and a half litres, please don't jump to that straight away because all you're gonna do is you're just gonna flush that water out because your body's not used to taking it on. So increasing just a little bit of maybe like 250 ml or one cup a day for a while until you get up to where you need to be is gonna be much, much better for you than trying to down it all at once, okay? So I like to use, um, I've got this bottle, um, I think I got it from Amazon or eBay or something like that, um, and it gives me actually the time of days and how much I need to have drunk by when. And I find this really, really helpful for people who are a little bit, um, who, who find it really difficult to drink a lot of water. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. But I would like to just kind of encourage you to add a little bit more water to your day. And remember that your poor little vocal folds, they're getting, they're just under so much friction and they're being used every single day. We don't ever really have times, unless you're just sat on your own, where you're not really using your voice. So please bear that in mind when you're thinking about singing and you've not drunk so much water. Now, I do want to check that I've covered everything that I wanted to cover today. Uh, oh yeah, that was something else I wanted to kind of bring up, is remembering that when you are singing, you should be sipping regularly, but you shouldn't be drinking lots and lots of water because you don't want to feel like a water bottle after you sing, you know? Um, a lot of people struggle with their range because they've bloated themselves out because they've drunk too much too quick. So don't be that person who will go, right, while well, I'm singing, so I'm gonna keep downing and keep downing and keep downing water because I need it. I want you to look out for if as you're singing, if you suddenly feel like your throat's really, really dry and tickly and that you need to drink so much water, please be careful of that because that may be a sign that your voice isn't so happy and it might need a little bit of help. 
if you are finding that yourself that you're very very breathy and that when you sing you're always feeling like a dry throat then please get in contact um because i've got lots of things that can help you with that because you shouldn't feel like you need to cough or feel like your voice is getting very very dry just from singing that could be a sign that we just need to do some other work with it okay right i think that's about it um so basically up your water maybe check the color of your wee i think i'm gonna end it on that note No, 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 I'm not going to end on that, no. Um, what I will say is, um, for those of you who are enjoying my weird little videos where I'm telling you to go check out your wee-wee, um, please go and check out the other videos that we have um, already uploaded. There are some videos on there about um, how to increase your range. So I've, I've done a few videos now on that. And if you've missed them, please scroll back down the page and have a look. Um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be carrying on talking about ways that you can help boost your vocal health and improve your range and help you spill the voice that you really, really want to, to kind of get the most out of, okay? Because I think most of the time we can kind of sing along and we can bub along and we can be quite annoyed with the little habits that creep into our voice or the things that we can't do. Um, yeah, so we'll leave that there. I'm not going to leave it on sing clear, pee clear, which is the saying we like to use. Um, but do look after yourself and do make sure that you're drinking enough water because your voice will thank you for it. That's it for this week, and I will see you next week. We're all of the stars. We're fading away. Just try not to. Worry.